Hello everyone, my name is Pablo Reyes and today I'm sharing with you two unique perspectives, one from my friend Jeffrey, he is a computer science major here at the University of Texas at Dallas, and my friend Omar, he is also a design and production major here at the Arts and Technology School. I got to sit down with them and find out more about their current experience with their career, but also I learned how they decided to choose that specific major. So if you're interested in computer science or arts and technology, and you want to hear from a student perspective just like you, then this video is for you, and I hope you find it useful. You ready, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> I chose computer science because it is a field that's gonna pay me really well when I get out of college, and I'm pretty much guaranteed a job because it's an ever-growing field. So, originally I wasn't even gonna come here. I was dead set that I was gonna go to Sam Houston State University, but through a long story, I ended up here. Uh, I came specifically for the ATEC program, but I initially wanted to be an animator. You know, since I was a little, I'd see like, you know, animated movies or video games, and I thought, you know, that's what I want to do. I wanted to be a, a visual storyteller. No, I think the field has been pretty straightforward to be honest. Yeah, I think there's a lot of, people think that a lot of people in the field are nerds, but it's not always like that. It's good to be a nerd sometimes. <laughs> I mean, nerds are the people who put the most work into their field a lot of the time. So, I mean, if that ends up paying well for them, then it's good for them in the long run. Biggest misconception about our technology, or as many people think that it's just animation, is that it's just that, animation. People will look at it as an outsider and say, oh, you want to go make cartoons? And like, you know, I, I look at that question now as, as a major, I'm like, is that really what people think there is to it? Once I got here to A-Tech, you know, they really told us, you know, that's not all there is to animation. There's this whole world outside and it. You can apply animation to any field of interest or any field of work, from medical to artistic, you know, everything. Elon Musk, uh, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs. A big professional in my field is actually one of my professors, um, Professor Scott. This man, he opened my ideas to not only art, but the world. Like, um, he defined the difference between a student and a, and a creator, and that really influenced a lot of how I've formed myself as a person in college, as compared to the person I used to be in, in high school. And he taught me that like, you can sponge a lot of a person's philosophy just by talking to them. And that can influence your line of work, whether it be art or mathematics, you know. The first language I learned, I first learned in college, and I learned C++ first, and I think that was a really good base for me. I think it was like, not too difficult, but difficult enough for me to have to really look at it to understand the concepts and understand what's happening when you're coding. Java, I learned after that, which is a more useful language. It's used for a lot of things in the industry. So I liked that that was the order that I was taught in. Python's a higher level language, and so it's used a lot for like game development and stuff. So I think those are three languages that I would focus on. In terms of software, I, I would say the Adobe suite is by far like the most versatile. Like you may not have like 3D modeling on it, but you have video editing, sound editing, photo editing and all that. But one of the biggest things I'll tell you here is don't learn a software, learn the skills. Like if you can, if you know what you want to do, you can go on any software from any creator and you can do it. I would tell him to be more passionate about computer science, focus more in data structures and algorithms, study more. <laughs> the biggest one you'll hear from a lot of people is procrastination. You know, get on your butt and go to work. Don't wait for opportunities to come to you. The second thing is talk to a lot of people. You'll meet the most amazing minds around your campus and you won't know if you don't try it. Third one is find out a schedule that works for you. You know, if you're an early morning person and you think at the, like, you're the greatest at the beginning of the day, pick classes that are at the beginning of the day. If you're a night owl, have classes that are at the nighttime. It really makes it all better for you.
Freshman year, our first project was with the Raspberry Pi, which is a really small computer, and it's really programmable, like you can do a lot with it. And so for our first project, um, what we decided to do was we made a security camera. And so we bought a motion sensor attachment, and we bought a camera. And um, every time that the motion sensor uh, detected motion, we set it to where the camera would go off. So it was a really simple thing to code. And it cost like $40, and we could have basically a home security camera. Then don't get in the field. <laughs> yeah, don't get in the field if you don't. I mean, you're going to be doing it forever. Do it. Do something you enjoy. Coding to me is like a puzzle. It's like trying to solve something. And I think that's really interesting. So if you don't like coding, then don't do it. One of the projects in my projection mapping class, um, we had to take a large sculpture or relief and we had to project onto it. And our professor had several reliefs from his own and there was this large one, it was like a forehead with a P symbol on it. And it just struck me and I thought, he has his vision of what it means, but what if there's other visions? So I, I made two very, very different pieces. One that was like a creepy, uncanny valley piece, and then another one that was an exploration of color. And what it told me is that you can get several artists in one room, tell them to look at a red square on the wall, and they'll all interpret it um, differently. And that's one of the beautiful parts that I found about art technology is that you get all these like nerdy people who want to work with computers, who want to like, you know, really get nitty gritty with their hands with stuff and still have an artistic view around it. And so that project really taught me that collaborating with people is the beauty of art technology. All I want to say is thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Omar, for finding the time to sit down with me and talk about your personal experience. I know you guys have very busy schedules and it means a lot to me. I'm glad you're willing to share your experience with other students as well. And if you watch until the end of this video, I'm sure that you gain something from these interviews, especially because they are students just like you. Whether you're looking to apply to UCD or you are already a student here and you want to know more about a specific major, what kind of things you could experience as a student because even if you're in the same school as one of my friends you're going to have a completely different experience and I think that it's important that you know that you are the one that creates that reality and it's important to know that the way you think about people about your family about your career is going to determine whether you have a positive or negative experience once again my name is Pablo Reyes and I will see you in the next video